Okay, so for this video, I wanted to do something a bit simpler. Um, the, one of the nice things about the LF is if you want a pedal that does something specific, you just make it. Um, so I was thinking I wanted to make a kind of basic looper, um, something where I could just uh, record a loop and starting and stopping the record would also set the time of that loop. So I thought I'd go through my working process when I kind of plan something like this out. So what we actually want is to put the left to one side for a moment. And we want some paper and a pen. Uh, hopefully that comes out okay on the camera and you can see this okay. Because what we're going to do is plot out the bees network that we're going to make. Um, and this is a kind of a bit of backwards and forwards. I kind of start by thinking about uh, what I want to control it and I, and I think about what needs to be controlled and then work out all the bits in between, which is a lot easier than sometimes doing it uh, as you go along on the device building operators. So I know I want to start with a switch and I want it to be a kind of a toggle. Um, so that's going to give me a naught and a one coming out of it. And I need to control a delay, um, a delay buffer. So I need to be able to uh, record. Is this off the bottom of the page? Let me see. OK, so I need to be able to turn the record on. Um, so that's record enable. Um, and so that needs to be a one and I need to be able to turn the record enable off so it stops the loop. Um, so I need a record enable zero. Uh, I need to be able to tell it to start recording at the beginning. So it's, it's reading from the beginning. Uh, so that's the right position and I want that to be zero. Um, and when I stop recording, I want it to play the loop again. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a metro uh, because if I try to change the actual loop length of the buffer, then if I wanted to record a longer one after I'd recorded a shorter one, um, I'd have to reset the loop each time. So what I want to do is just keep that 60 second uh, as my maximum, but use a metro to keep re-triggering the loop. So I need a, a read position uh, that also needs to be a zero. So I'm going to need a metro that controls this, um, that sets the read position. So somewhere I need a metro sending to this read position. Uh, now I need to control the period of that metro. And I want that to be controlled by when I start and stop uh, my button. So there's an object called a timer, which lets me do that. So I need a timer and I need the output of the timer, uh, the gap between um, starting and stopping to go to the period of the metro. Um, so the period of the metro needs to be there. Now, what I don't want to happen is I don't want the time between me stopping the recorder and starting it again later to record a new loop to change the period of my metro. I know that would be a problem because, say, I started it and then a second later I stopped it. I've got a one second loop and then later on I wanted to make a new loop. When I press that again, that would count as a new event and the timer would record it. So I need to only record Let's think about this. I need to only record the gaps between the naught and the one. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm not going to connect the timer output directly to the period. I'm going to use a root object and that's got a naught output and a one output. I know that. So I'm going to send the timer into the root. And only when I press the one is it going to send through to the period. So I need to use this one here to go to the root. Um, 
but I'm also going to need that one to do a few other things. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I've got a feeling the nor I'm already seeing a couple of things here I need. Just to make my life easier to begin with, I'm going to put a split four in there. And I'm going to put a split four there. And I'm going to make a threshold that goes to these two things. So what I can do here is I can divide up the ones um, uh, when you get a one from the switch and the zeros from the switch. So that's a good start for me because that means I know that, well, I need that one to go to this root object, to the two of the root object. I, I need it to also go to the timer as an event. And I also need the zero from over here to go to the timer. So that's two events going into the timer. So that's the gap that will be recorded, but it will only send that time out from the timer to the Metro when it gets the one. So it's not gonna let that time through when I send the, uh, the zero. So what else do I need to do? I need to enable the Metro. Uh, I need to record enable here. Um, so I need to turn off the record enable at the end of the loop. So I'm gonna take another output from this split and I'm gonna make a sub. And the sub is gonna take away one. Um, so that's going to control this record enable here. Um, what else do I need to happen? Um, I, uh, I might want to enable the Metro. Um, I might want to start the Metro each time. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I've got one more split coming out of here. So I'm going to make an enable there. That's going to enable the Metro. Um, now, what needs to happen over here? I need to turn a naught into a one for a record enable. So I'm going to need an add plus one here. So one of these splits is going to come off, go to this add and go into this record enable. Um, I want to send the zero, so that doesn't need to be changed. So that's another split to the right position. And I think I'll also stop the Metro with a zero when I start a new loop so that if my previous one is shorter, um, if the one I've been recording is, set, is say like bum, 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 and the next one I want to do is longer, I don't want that Metro to keep re-triggering. So when I record a new loop, I'm going to send that zero to the Metro enable. Uh, so I think that's everything I need. Um, now the only thing, I remember trying something like this before and I think I needed to also send the loop back um, to make sure it repositions when I enable the Metro because the order of those might be a bit weird. So what I'm going to do is my first split output here, this sub, I'm actually going to put, that's giving me a naught, so that's what I want to send to there. So I'm going to put another split in here. And one is going to go there and the other one's going to go to my record position there. So that is what initially seems like quite a uh, complex network, but it's not so bad. So what I do is I put squares around all the operators I need. That's my add. Oh, that's not an operator. Uh, the metro is an operator. The root is an operator, the timer is an operator, and this split is an operator, and this sub is an operator. So now the way we make our life much easier is we've got our kind of network diagram here. So now it's time to get this up. Um, 
let's turn it off and start a clean boot again. So let's do that. Actually, if I swap these around, you'll be able to see that a bit more clearly, hopefully. I know. Maybe I need to zoom in a bit. Um, so I'm going to use lines. I'm going to load up the lines module. Volume's down in case of the blasted noise. Um, okay, so what I do is I now, I don't need to sort of build each one and connect it. I'm just going to build all the operators um, and I'm going to just, as I make them in here, so uh, switch I've already got, that's already in there. Um, I'm just going to write down the numbers so I then know how to connect them later. So switch, I'm going to use switch five. Um, if you have multicolored pens, it's probably a good time to use multicolored pens, but I don't have one here right now. Um, so I need to create a threshold. Create that, and that's 12. So I'll put that there, 12, so I know which one it is. I need a split four. That's 13. I need another split four. That's 14. Now you can see where this is going. So you may want to fast forward here. I need a timer. That's 15. I need a root. Ah, sticky button. Uh, that's 16. I need a sub. So in this way, it doesn't actually matter what order you create them in because you're just writing all the numbers down. 17, I need another split. That's 18. Uh, I need a metro. Uh, that's 19. Um, I need this add. That's 20. Uh, and that's all my operators. So now I get the exciting task of joining them all together. Um, I can also, if I need to, set the, the settings for them already. So this switch I'm going to make into a, I'm going to turn on the toggle um, so that I don't need to hold it down to record the loop. I can start and stop. So switch five, turn toggle to on. Uh, the splits, I don't need to do the threshold, number 12, the limit is 1, so naught's going to go out that side, 1's going to go out that side. The timer doesn't need anything doing it to it, the root doesn't, the sub needs to be minus 1. Um, the split, the metro, they don't, the add, that needs to be plus 1. No problem. So now I go to my outputs, uh, I connect switch one value to threshold 12 so I can just look at all the numbers threshold input there uh, threshold outputs the low goes to split 13 the high goes to split 14 um, so here I need let's have a look um, now the, sometimes the order is kind of important I think with splits it goes out top to bottom like with the other ones so actually, um, I want to set the right position, then the record enable, then the metro, and then the timer. Does it make a difference? Um, I think it should be okay. But that sometimes if you find problems in what's happening in your system, it might be the order that you're sending things out, but I think this should be okay. So that needs to go to add A. This needs to go, the second output needs to go to right position. Uh, so where's that? Pause, um, did, did you? pause right zero. Sorry, not right pause. Um, and it also needs to go to the metro. The next one needs to go to the metro enable. So that's 19. 
turret enable. Uh, I haven't done that add. Yes, I have. Sorry, so the add needs to go to record enable. And so it's going to send a one to record enable. Uh, which is, sorry, run right, it's called. I'm just making words up here. Run right is uh, how you start something recording. Um, so that side's all done. So where was I up to? Um, D, where's that going? Oh, that's going to the timer, uh, which is 15. Timer event, connect that. Uh, so I'm now onto my next split. So we go, that goes to a timer event as well. Um, the next one does the two of the root object. So 16, root two. Next one does the enable of the metro. Um, you know what, this is something where it, I have done it in the wrong order because I want to turn on the root and then send the value through it otherwise that might be in the wrong order so i'm going to swap those two around i'm going to make the first one the root two and i'm going to make the second one the timer event um and then the last one is going to this sub 17 so that's sub a uh okay so the timer um, which is going to be the gap between those events is going to go to the root 16 root value um, root naught I'm not going to send anywhere I don't want it to um, send that value through when it's uh, getting a naught um, but what I do want is when it gets a one ah so here's something I haven't done that I've just noticed so that's going to the um, period of the metro which is 19 so when I turn that one on, um, I haven't got a zero turning it off. So I need to um, create something here. So I need another split object to take the zero that's going to that metro to that root. So that when I press the naught here, before it goes to the timer, it closes this root object or it sends it to a, a blank destination. Um, I guess I could do this with a gate, actually. It doesn't need to be a root. I don't know why I chose a root, but I did. Tough. Um, so back to my operators, create another split. That's 21. So I need to disconnect the thing that was going, the first thing going to the Metro enable, which is 19 from split 13. So I can see that. And I need to connect that now to that new split object. And that new split object, 21, is going to go, carry on back to where it was going. The Metro enable, uh, 19. And the other half is going to go to the root object to close that. Um, so where was I up to? Route one is going to the metro period. Um, this sub 17 needs to go to split 18. And split 18 needs to go to the read position. Pause read. And it needs to stop recording. So run right. That seems like I've got everything apart from the Metro enable. So the, the Metro needs to also go to pause read. Uh, which I can see there's 89. Um, and have I set the Metro to send out a naught? No, because I want it to send out a naught so it's always starting from the beginning. So that is my network. I've now built my network. Um, so, I need to test it out. Um, so I'm just going to pause this video and plug something in.